Hi all, today's topic is Unit 4 Analytical Function Introduction. So before going with the introduction, what are all the topics to be covered in this unit? So this the first topic to be covered is Analytical Function. Second is Harmonic Function and is Conjugate. And third is Millen Thompson Method to find out your F of Z and Conjugate. And fourth topic will be a Conformal Mapping. The last topic in this unit is Bilinear Transportation. In this, if we cover all these five topics, your fourth unit will be completed. So, introduction is that we know that it is a complex variable. Is that is nothing, it can be written as x plus i by. We know that x is nothing but real part and y is nothing but imaginary part. We say x and y to be a real variable. If for every z, there exists one or more value of w. And then W can be written as a function of Z. So W we can write it as W. How we can write W is nothing but F of Z. So we know that F of Z how we can write. So U of X comma Y plus I into V of X comma Y is a function of complex variable Z equal to X plus I Y. Because normally complex variable how we write x plus i into y. So, it is nothing but real part plus imaginary part we write. The same way when I write the given w also, it is u of x comma y plus i into v of x comma y. So, what is analytical function? The other name for analytical function is nothing but regular function or a holomorphic function. A function, this is purely definition for analytical function. A function defined at a point is it not is said to be analytic if it has a derivative at is it not okay it should be a derivative at is it not and at every point in the neighborhood of is it not it should be a derivative at is it not plus at a point in the neighborhood of is it not also it should be a derivative if it is analytic at every point in the region r then it is analytic in the region r so this is the definition for analytical function. When you come with analytical conditions, there are two cases, necessary condition and sufficient condition. Necessary condition, it's compulsorily we have to check the condition. Sufficient condition, you need not check for analytic. Only it is supporting is a sufficient condition. For example, the necessary condition, for a function f of z equal to u plus i v, if it is analytic means when CR equation satisfied, it is analytic. What do you mean by CR equation? First, CR. What is CR? CR is nothing but cauchy riemann equation. It is the author name. cauchy riemann is the author name. So, he has derived it. So, his name. CR equation is satisfied. So, what is a CR equation? Two compulsory, not only one equation. Two equation, if it is satisfied, then we say that it is analytic. Whatever the example it is given, it may be z or z square or sin z cos z. All the function, you can check it using this CR equation only. So, what is that CR equation? Means I have written this in the short form. Ux equal to Vy and Uy equal to minus Vx. What do you mean by this means? So, ux is nothing but, suffix I have written, it is nothing but dou u by dou x. Dou u by dou x equal to dou v by dou y. When both equations, okay, are same, okay, answer, okay, it is not the meaning, both are same, okay. So, answer correspondingly, when you differentiate u is given in the question, v is given in the question, when you differentiate both, both the answers, uh, when you differentiate dou u by dou x, I am getting 2, dou v by dou y, 2. If I get both the answers are same, it is equal, okay. So, this is equation 1, same way, dou u by dou y minus of dou v by dou x. This is second equation. When this both the equations are satisfied, it is called as a analytic. When we will say then the function to be analytic. Okay. So, the sufficient condition for analytic, it is not necessary to check this. Okay. But we have to remember when you study a necessary condition, sufficient condition also we have to study it. Okay? So, for a function f of z, u of u plus i v, v an analytic in d, 
two condition it should be u and v are differentiable in d it should be a differentiable in d then cr equation satisfied yes so it it should be when i am able to differentiate itself all the parameter and uh, when cr equation satisfied that is the first condition so second is partial derivative of all the four terms ux uy vx vy are all continuous in d it should be all all continuous in d if this both the conditions are satisfied then it is called as the sufficient condition for an analytical function now we will go directly with the problem for analytical function the first problem show that f of z equal to sin z is an analytical function so we have to show this given sin z as a analytical function how we have to prove it is a analytic we have to check it so now we know that f of z equal to sin z f of z equal to sin z u plus i b equal to f of z now this both are same so it is nothing but f of z i will write u plus i b equal to okay. so what i am writing u plus i b i am writing z it can be written as z we know that x plus i y what i have written given costing this is our given costing f of z equal to sin z we know that f of z is nothing but u plus i v okay the same thing only f of z instead of f of z i have written u plus i v z is nothing but everyone know it is a complex variable x plus i v replaced only this in the costing okay so u plus i v equal to sin of x plus i y now extend this as a formula sin a plus b what is the formula for sin a plus b sin a plus b what is the formula sin a cos b plus cos a sin now when i write sin x into cos i y plus cos x sin i y okay i have written as per the formula next step we know that cos of i y okay cos of i y and sin of i y it's nothing a hyperbolic function so hyperbolic function it can be written as cos h y sin i y is nothing but i sin h y remember this only for cos cos as it is sin i h sin h y it's a hyperbolic function so now when i write it rewrite it sin of x cos h y this uh, sin i y becomes i so i into cos x sin h y now compare real part and imaginary part now we have to compare real part and imaginary part so separate it and write so it is nothing but u is nothing but this is real part v is nothing but this okay so that one i am going to write u is nothing but sin x cos h y v is nothing but cos x sin h y 
in the question directly u and v it's not given now from the question itself from the function itself i have brought u and v so this is the way you have to bring any question it may be any format so this is the format for bringing u and v now i it's analytic i have to check how i can check if cr condition is satisfied it is analytic or not we can check it so what is cr condition so it is nothing but do u by do x equal to do v by do y do u by do y equal to minus do v by do x this only i am going to check for that first i need to calculate all this four value i will calculate it u and v are given in the question First, do u by do x. Differentiate this with respect to partially. Okay, don't do mistake in this when you differentiate. Okay, with respect to x only, I'm going to differentiate. Cos h y is a constant. Keep it as it is. Cos h y is a constant. Only sin x we have to differentiate. Sin x differentiation is nothing but cos x. Completed. Same way, do u by do y when i do it sin y is a constant sin x is a constant so cos h y differentiation so cos h y differentiation when you do sin h y differentiation also i will write it here differentiation differentiation of uh, So completed same way with respect to v do v by do x differentiation do v by do x when i differentiate with respect to x i am going to differentiate sin h y is a constant so cos y differentiation is nothing but everyone know it's minus sin x so do v by do y differentiation is nothing but cos x is a constant sin h y differentiation in a hyperbolic when you differentiate Okay, it may be a sine or cos function, both it is positive only. So, that you have to remember it when you do it. So, it is nothing but the sine hy is differentiation is cos hy. So, now check the answer cos x. See, check this answer. Do u by do x equal to cos x cos h y both are same in this you check do u by do y equal to sin x sin h y equal to minus of sin x sin h y so now satisfied cr equation is satisfied so repeat again the formula Write CR equation satisfied. Therefore, function f of z is an analytical function. Thank you.